What is this about? Oh, these clip onto this? Gotcha. Ooh, it's kind of convincing. No, K-pop. Oh, right. You look like you're in BTS right now. Right, 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 right. Yeah. But I mean, it's like high tech. I'm high tech K-pop maybe, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm here for the BTS meal. <laughs> You can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that 100. That's leading off the whole video. You know, you've seen a couple companies play in the idea of it that you're gonna have this open sound. Oh wow, this is really weird. <laughs> that you're gonna wear some sunglasses that are gonna provide audio to you, so that your ears remain open to the universe and environment. Am, am I crazy or am I crazy or am I crazy? Soundcore here took it to another place because they gave you a variety of styles to choose from. I have a pretty wide head. Dual speakers positioned above and behind each ear are driven by a custom audio processor for a new dimension of immersive sound. Okay, so this is some hip hop. That's a sandwich. Two mics for clear calls. 5.5 hour playtime. Top comment, Unbox Therapy brought me here. IPX4 water resistance. It's like to mimic in a way as if you had music on in the room. And of course, interchangeable frames is their big component. So I'm gonna try on some styles and see if I can find my favorite. Oh, that's the look. There you go. We're yes, here. Yes, we're here. That's For the be BTS move. Welcome to the danger zone. Highway, not welcome, highway to the danger zone. <laughs> <laughs> There's a variety of things, including some accessories here. Those are the, the important components, the actual arms which house the speakers in them. They've got another set of frames that came inside this box, the tour style. So we have to throw those into the mix as well. These are like an aviator style of frame. You can tell there's some electronics going on, some contact points in there for charging and some speaker grills as well. This is a case. What is this? Oh, wow. Magnetic enclosure, nice texture to it. So this will protect your frames, I guess, from getting scratched up and, and whatnot. Whoa, it's crazy thin cabling. Look at that. So it can snap on. It is magnetic. Very slim USB type A termination point. I don't know, when it comes to having the fat, uh, uh, the, the large kind of, arms, then you start to think about which style typically would have that. And I'm immediately thinking this is gonna look best with this style right here, or like this one, like somewhere in here and less so on the aviators, but it's a personal preference thing. It's up to you. Okay, these are the, uh, the audio temples. And you can tell right away, there's a little curvature to it for uh, presumably a better fit. It's gonna wrap around your head a little bit. You can see the speaker units, which are gonna live right over top of your uh, ear. And then the contact points for charging are below that. Now I'm curious about this component, which is gonna clip in. I wanna just right away reach for what I think is gonna probably be my favorite of the bunch, which is this. Do you wear glasses regularly anymore? Sunglasses? Any glasses. Glasses almost never, uh, just like first thing in the morning when I wake up. Uh, sunglasses in the car normally. That's where that would be. All right, so here we have a set of frames. This is called Wander Style. Little bit of a construction to it. Ooh, satisfying click. This is kind of interesting how you keep this metal piece as a connection point. These are actually, it's kind of, it's kind of convincing. I mean, obviously you have a speaker unit, so the arm is gonna be a little larger than typical sunglasses, but with this particular frame, it kind of blends.
there a power button or do these immediately go into pairing? I, I don't, did they have a power button? Are these already, did these just? This is actually a good moment to see how this goes on. So that just clips. Oh, you just close them. And then, that's a tough thing to figure out, like an optimal design for such things. We're gonna plug this in and we're gonna do it completely overkill with this giant battery unit, which has actually been coming in handy around the studio quite a bit. We don't need to use as many extension cables. You just lug this thing over, slap your cable in, and you have way more battery than you're gonna need for a while. It's a beast. And I see a little tiny green light on each of the connectors, letting us know that we are charging up. And I think that's gonna make it immediately available on the app. It just says wear it for, wear for, charge for one minute and then wear it to activate it. So uh, that's been a minute, right? Yeah. That's been close enough to a minute. Then we slap it on and I, I presume that slapping it on kind of powers it up and look at that. Soundcore frames right away. I hear the speakers. There's like a startup chime. Connected, simple. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, look at that. Frames, battery life. There's a privacy mode which aims to limit the amount of sound bleed. I mean, there's only so much that can be done here because the speakers are facing outward and your ear is picking up sort of the sound in this vicinity. So, but anyway, the privacy mode is like an, it's an EQ that's gonna limit some of that transmission. Uh, there's also the default mode, which is sound core signature and then some other presets for EQ, acoustic, bass, booster, bass, reducer, classical. And then you can even do a complete custom EQ if you just want to tune the sound yourself, you feel like you need more bass. It also has wear detection, so music will automatically pause when I take the shades off, which is a nice feature. Let's listen to something here. Okay, so this is some hip hop. That's a sandwich. All right, now hip hop's gonna be a tough one for a system like this because it's got, it typically has a lot of low end, so it's like to mimic in a way as if you had music on in the room. That's really what it feels like. Like there's just some music on somewhere. Except it follows you around and it remains, like it sort of maintains the same proximity, but it just feels like it's in the space. Like, oh, there's some tunes playing. Cool. It's not the same type of intimacy that you're gonna get with a pair of headphones on or even earbuds in your ear canals, but that's okay because like I said, I think the real target is a new type of listening experience where you're making that exchange for some of the benefits of still being connected without even pausing this. I could just approach somebody. Check this move, check this move. Ready? Uh, what was that? Oh, yeah. No, I remember it. Ah, uh, it's been tough to, you know, it's tough for everybody though. Everybody's been going through the same thing. <laughs> I thought that was great. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just slap it back on and actually, it's better than tapping or trying to tap and find a touch point. You just, because it's a natural movement anyway. I like that feature. It is a Tesla. Do you see the difference? Steering wheel. Yeah. It's a new one, but with a Oh, wow, this is really weird. I think I might even like this better for dialogue or like an audio book or something. I could picture also like a baseball game. You know, you, you know how some people like to listen as well. You could have something on while you're sitting in the audience and you can kind of like almost multitask from an audio perspective. So that's kind of a, an interesting experience to not be closed off. Now I know there's a lot of headphones that have put in things like transparency mode, but it's different. It's not your actual ears and you're kind of aware of that. Uh, it's better than having nothing, but having your ears fully exposed is still the most optimal scenario and feels the most like you're actually in life while still consuming whatever content you want. So people on the street, on the bikes, people jogging, people at events, hence all the names of these variety of styles. Now you know I do have to try on the festival style before we get out of here. So let's do that as well. <laughs> 
It's just a friction fit. There's these little uh, nubs there which fit inside and that's all it takes. And let's go ahead and get the festival style going. Yup. Yup. Oh, that's the look. There you go. Ready for the festival. I have no idea what I look like right now. <laughs> you look great. Well, I knew that. I knew that much. Should we do one more? All right, let's do uh, take your pick. Point. Which which other this one? one? This one? Really? Yeah. I want to see what it looks with a skinny frame. Skinny frame. You mean if somebody wanted to wear it like without shades? This is promenade style. No. K-pop. Oh, right. You look like you're in BTS right now. Right, 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 right. Yeah. But I mean, it's like high tech. I'm high tech K-pop maybe, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm here for the BTS meal. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that 100%, that's leading off the whole video. No, it's actually wrong because it's we're here. Isn't it? Yeah. We're yes, here. Yes, we're here. For, for the, the BTS, BTS. meal. For the BGS new. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go with simple black and black. For the BGS new. Whoa, he this is, is very Uber driver. For the B <laughs> for Matrix. Matrix. Or serial killer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's fooling? Now I'm ready for uh What is it? It's uh yeah, but what what is the danger, danger zone? zone? Yeah, what is the line before the danger zone? Welcome to the Welcome? Welcome to the danger zone. I just hope it's getting it's in the breath. Late eighties, early nineties was in the it was in there somewhere. Mm. It's difficult. Highway. Not welcome. Highway to the danger zone. <laughs> <laughs> Am I crazy or am I crazy or am I crazy? No, it's not highway. Highway to the danger There's zone? No way, it's highway to the. I don't know. I mean, it, the dude made a song. What, you all mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's welcome for sure. No, it's highway to the danger zone. Oh, shoot. It's revving up your engine. Listen to your howling roar. Metal under tension. It's about like. Cars. It's about. I thought it was about planes. What do you mean? I mean, Top Gun is about planes, but <laughs> heading into twilight. I mean, I don't remember the pace of the verse, but the chorus. Highway to the danger zone. I'll take you right into the danger zone. <laughs> uh, Dude, I could do this. You look like a dad, like an old man. I'm telling you, man, these are Uber driver glasses. These are dad glasses <laughs> right now. You are your Uber driver. What is this? How are you having lyrics like this? It's Apple Music. This is like ready for karaoke. But what about my look? How's my look? We're Uber driver. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's 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 get you a shot. All right, this is my look. Are you ready for this? Hold on. Let me... I'm going with the Kurt Cobain grandma style. Oh, that's really weird. It almost comes out of nowhere. Yo, I'm actually about it. It weirdly matches your uh, flannel. It's so Dude, I weird. I think we're about to shoot a music video. The music is so weird. Like it comes, it just comes out of nowhere. It's coming out of, s I, it feels like it's coming from inside my mind. I'm going insane. Oh my God, what the, f what's, what am I doing over here? And that's pretty cool. You feel like you're in your own music video. Yeah. I felt like I was shooting a music video. These are the Willy Do music festival frames. I'll th throw those boys on. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, there's a sound that just, 
Elsa. Is that Elsa? <laughs> no, it's Moana. <laughs> it was really nice at the beginning. I think it's a look. I think it's a look. Hmm. What do you think? You know what, man? I don't mind it. You like the look? I'm totally cool with this. I don't mind wearing this. He's got it. All right. There you go. But you got to <laughs> Nobody drops glasses and then stares at them. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do.